Hi, I'm Chris. I'm going to show you how to use NI Veristan to configure a real-time testing application. So before we get started, I want to tell you a little bit about the hardware. We've got a real-time PXI chassis here running a dual-core processor that's talking to this NI data acquisition device. Now the DAC device is it's cabled to this signal accessory that's allowed me to connect signal analog input zero to this signal generator where I can vary the amplitude and the frequency of the signal. All right, so I'm going to start this demonstration by just building a blank NI Veristan project. When you do that, it will open the project and it will show you there's two primary tasks that you need to complete. The first one is going to be to define your real-time application. You're going to do this using the System Explorer window. And the System Explorer window is, uh, is uh, the place where you can configure tasks like uh, hardware I.O. You can import models for execution. We can uh, create calculated channels or alarms and a variety of other tasks that we want to execute in real time as part of our application. All right, so here we have the System Explorer, and as I navigate through there, you'll see there's a variety of types of I.O. that I can add to my, my application. So, of course, we can do the multifunction DAC, DAC devices, but we can also do user-defined FPGA I.O. interfaces and even the XNet uh, vehicle bus interfaces. And for, even for third-party hardware that may not be supported by NI Veristan, I can use these custom devices here to add native support to NI Veristan uh, for them using LabVIEW. All right, so for this demonstration, though, I'm just going to add a DAC device. We'll call it DAC1. And then I just need to tell NI Veristan which resources or channels I want to use from that device. Clicking OK, you'll see it's now added all of those channels to my tree. And if I click on the different channels, it'll show me the properties that I can modify or configure for each channel. I'm going to just append noise to that analog input zero channel that I have connected to that signal generator. All right, so I've shown you how I can add real-time I.O. to my application. In the next demo, I'm going to show you how I can import models and connect them to this I.O. as part of my real-time test application.